Hey guys, Shannon Squirtle here, and today we're going to be doing a brand new Pokemon Let's Play for Throwback Thursday. Um, so, I just came up with this idea over the course of kind of just... Because um, I have a capture card, and this is one of the few games I was able to get working, so... Oh, we're going to be doing a Pokemon Crystal version. Let's play. New episodes will be coming out every Thursday. One to two episodes... Maybe even more if you guys really love the series. And hopefully you guys do, because I am going to absolutely love it. So. Alright. So we're going to be playing as a boy. Playing as gold. <laughs> but yeah, so. It, I don't really care what this says, but I might as well. Um... So yeah, this is not going to be accurate at all. I just want it to be pretty much midnight. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Professor Oak, we kind of know all this, so I'm going to be sc spam clicking through a lot of this. Try and not make the first episode too impossibly long. These episodes I'm going to try and make about 20 to 30 minutes each, so... And we will be naming me after my real name because Squirtle won't fit in the space provided, so. So, we'll be playing as Ryan. And also, I will be, um, after we kind of beat the, the um, both regions um, in this game, all the gym leaders beat the champion twice and beat red. We will be um, transferring this Pokemon team up to up to um, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon for game like to play in competitive Pokemon battles with you guys. So he'll be seeing us later. Let's hop on downstairs to go see mom. So yeah, this is my second attempt at recording this video. So I already know the starter I'm going to be picking. But I'm going to be leaving the rival up to you guys to name. So I could probably actually slow down a little bit because if we're going to... Um, Yeah, so, um, I could probably slow down since we're going to be naming the rival in the next video, because I want to leave that as something for you guys to comment down below on what you guys want the name to be, so, tomorrow there will, or like, yeah, tomorrow there will only be one episode up, um, just because it's kind of the first one, so... So yeah. So here we go. Just gonna kind of spam click through a lot of this text because we can I kind of know most of it already, and sure I could be. I'm gonna try and be reading through some of the more important dialogue, but I literally just did this all, and I'm still a little bit. I'm kind of sick. So. Oh, I've got a cold, and so if you guys hear me a little bit stuffy or any of that stuff, just know that I have not been feeling 100%, so, but I'm going to try and keep recording at 100%. Um, I might not be uploading as much, just because I don't know how many quality videos I'm going to be able to make while I'm sick, and I want to keep some kind of bank built up so I don't have just a day where I can't upload or where I have to rush out a terrible quality video so we will be picking Cyntaquil and I will be naming it uh, I will be giving it a nickname kind of to start off not sure if you guys will you guys can feel free to ask me if you guys want me to change the nickname later 
They're going to name Raider later and change it, but we're going to be naming it Vulcan for the initial part of this Let's Play. Because Vulcan, I just think it sounds really cool. So, yeah. Can't miss the house um, of Mr. Pokemons, even though a lot of people will get stumped before they even get there. So, yeah. Heal it with this machine. Feel free to use it any time. So, Ryan, I'm counting on you. Then, here, here's a potion. <laughs> we get one potion to complete our errand. You gotta remember, last time I got my... Like, last time when I recorded this episode, um... The Totodile that our rival picked completely whooped me, so I want to try and avoid that happening again. Are we gonna get another Rattata? Just like before. Nope, we got a Hoot Hoot this time, so... Yep. <sighs> Hoodoo is awesome. But yeah. <sighs> Going for that tackle. Hoodoo use tackle. Gonna just try and get some early EXP by KOing a Hoot Hoot early. And it's gonna growl me. Why can this thing learn Growl, but not Growlithe? Even to this day, Growlithe cannot learn Growl. Which just seems wrong. Then again, the same thing with Typhlosion and not learning Explosion. So we gained 24 EXP points. Wow, almost leveled up already. But yeah, so here we go. <sighs> so we're going to be tackling our way through this. Um, hopefully you guys are going to be enjoying this series. I do intend to upload this every Thursday, so... If you guys don't like the videos, just don't watch on Thursday because I'm going to be doing a lot of different throwback kind of videos on Thursdays as well as some newer videos, so don't like completely just don't tune in on Thursdays but just maybe don't pay as much attention on Thursday because there's going to be at least one to two videos of this coming out, so so Vulcan is now taking out is second hoodoo. But yeah, so. There we go. We're out of the grass and we're good to go to the next town. Cherry Grove City. Just gonna go right on through to the next. Um, trying to get to Mr. Pokemon's house. Not gonna stop in at the Pokemon Center. Ooh, item. Can't pass it up. Even though I know what it is already. Okay. Here we go. Wow. No wild Pokemon battles. Shocker. Hello, you must be Ryan. I must be. Professor Elm said that you would be visiting. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. Ryan received the mystery egg. Put the egg in our pocket. Even though that seems like a terrible idea, putting an egg in your pocket. I know a, po I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon Evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even if Professor, even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, 
Professor Elm will know it. Aha, so you're Ryan. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting visiting an old my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. And I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? Let's see. So yeah, understands he gave me the Pokemon for an errand. Pokemon are our friends. So yeah. We're going to help out Professor Oak with the Pokedex. Which this is going to be it. I one to try and complete the entire Pokedex. Which I will not necessarily be doing in this Let's Play. So yeah. So we're going to have some rest, get our Pokemon healed right up, and right back into the fray. He's depending on us. So let's hope this egg doesn't get scrambled in our back pocket. Hello, Ryan? This is a disaster. Um, uh, it's just terrible. Oh, what should I do? Oh, it, oh no. Please get back here now. So, uh-oh, the professor's got himself in a little bit of a pickle. Guess it's time for the full-grown Pokemon professor to call in the 10-year-old reinforcement. Okay, can I just point out how dumb that sounds? The uh, Pokemon professor, who's a grown adult, is calling in the 10-year-old to save the day. I mean... With me, I think I could get the job done. Okay, string shot has failed. Hmm. Failing twice? That's weird. Does it just not work on a Pokemon that's faster than you? I mean, I don't know what's up with that failing three times in a row, because I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be that way. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to say it missed. Or something along those lines. But yeah, so... We're up one level now over what our rival's gonna be at. And then there's a hoodoo. Oh, did not mean to hit that. Tap the bottom screen accidentally. So we're gonna be tackling through here. Tackle... Growl, come on. Really, Hoodoo, you're just going to make this take longer than it needs to. <sighs> Hoodoo's going to survive this next attack, isn't he? Yep. Had to on one health. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, so, wow, we almost gained a whole other level just from taking out that Hoodoo. Man, Hoodoots give a great experience yield. Let's see what Totodiles give for experience when we go to battle our Toad our rival's Totodile. Here we go. I'm just gonna go to the Pokemon Center real quick, heal up our Pokemon. So, hopefully we can um, bring back the Pokemon in one piece. So yeah, you can store a large number of Pokemon in the PC box, not nearly as many as you can nowadays. Dun, dun, dun. We've got our rival. You got Pokemon from the lab? What a waste. I wouldn't like you. You don't get what I'm saying, do you? Well... I, too, have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Ouch. He thinks he's better than us? Oh, let's prove him dead wrong. So he's got Totodile. And I've got my, um... 
Vulcan. Let's see. Still not doing any damage. You know what? We're going to need to play this up. Smokescreen. We're literally going to have to rely on him missing attacks to stand a chance here. Okay, we survived. We got our pack potion. Come on. Oh, whoops. I keep hitting the bottom screen because that's how you... Something you can do in modern Pokemon games. I just need some of these to start missing. Really? Not gonna start missing, huh? He's down three stages of accuracy. And we get crit again. Luckiest Totodile ever. Oh my. That was a waste of time. Uh, excuse me. How did you land so many crits in that battle? But yeah, so I'm gonna be save. I'm gonna save the game right now just so that we don't have anything um, happen. So we're gonna be. We're gonna go save it. That there we go. So now. But yeah, ouch. Man, that battle was just bad. I'm going to save here. Just so if one more step is not good, I can um, basically just cut the... Um... Okay, right there. So I'm going to reset the virtual console. So it'll take us back to the kind of beginning of the house, and we'll end off the video there. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this um, this video, and hopefully you guys are going to be looking forward to doing the the series. Um, like we're going to be doing the series for like the throwback theme. I think it fits the throwback theme pretty well. So we'll be running with Vulcan, and I will be nicknaming. All of my Pokemon, if you guys have any specific Pokemon you either want me to try and catch or have specific names for Pokemon that we already have on our team, feel free to let me know. I can try and either pick up those Pokemon or name them the, that. Because And whatever our final team ends up being, I'm going to bring pretty much all the Pokemon that we used in this play in this playoffs series to the... Um, to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and make a competitive team out of them. So, or a competitive team, a fairly decent team out of them. So, yeah. So, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Shiny Squirtle out.